NASA's Voyager 1 phone home from 15 billion miles away. The program is in on time. Vehicle response is normal. More than 14 billion miles from Earth, drifting silently through the interstellar void, Voyager 1, NASA's pioneering deep space probe, has just detected something that has stunned the scientific world. This spacecraft, launched in 1977 and designed initially to study the outer planets, has once again proven that its mission is far from over. Despite its great age and dwindling power supply, Voyager 1 has picked up an anomalous signal in the vast emptiness between stars. A strange persistent hum emanating from interstellar space that has no known source and no clear explanation. Before we start, smash the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. This low-frequency plasma wave emission, first noticed as a subtle vibration in the probe's plasma wave subsystem, marks an unprecedented observation. It's not a burst, not a spike, not a flare. It's a steady, continuous signal, like a background drone vibrating through the interstellar medium. While Voyager has detected plasma oscillations in the past, often triggered by solar events, the consistency of this signal, its faint yet unyielding tone, is entirely new. Scientists describe it as a plasma song, a signature that hints at deeper processes unfolding in the dark, cold reaches beyond our solar system. Unlike anything previously recorded, this phenomenon could rewrite the understanding of what interstellar space actually is. What makes this event particularly mysterious is its location. Voyager 1 is beyond the heliopause, the invisible boundary where the sun's influence wanes and interstellar space begins. This region was once assumed to be quiet, still, a near-perfect vacuum punctuated only occasionally by drifting particles. Yet this signal suggests there is far more dynamism out there than anyone previously suspected. It implies that the interstellar medium is not the passive sea it was once thought to be, but may instead be roiling with unseen currents, faint magnetic storms, or exotic energy interactions that we're only now beginning to detect. The nature of the signal challenges the foundational assumptions about space between stars. Scientists have hypothesized that this hum could be a form of turbulence in the plasma medium, possibly a remnant of ancient stellar winds, or perhaps something more alien in origin. The signal appears constant, not modulating with solar activity or galactic background noise, which makes it even more puzzling. It might be a new kind of interstellar wave, a cosmic echo of sorts, resonating through the vast emptiness. If that's the case, then Voyager the 1st of May have stumbled upon a fundamental layer of galactic structure, a kind of skeleton of space itself subtly vibrating across unimaginable distances. Perhaps even more fascinating is the implication that this signal may be a kind of interstellar weather report. Just as Earth's atmosphere is alive with currents and pressure fronts, so too might the interstellar medium be charged with plasma breezes and magnetic fields, twisting and shifting in an invisible dance. Voyager 1, in this view, is not merely coasting through nothingness, but is in fact sailing through a complex, shifting environment. That environment could be shaped by the gravitational pull of distant stars, the relics of ancient supernovae, or structures in the galactic magnetic field that humanity has never before perceived directly. The sheer persistence of the hum raises additional questions. Could there be a universal frequency to the interstellar medium? something akin to a natural resonance of the galaxy itself? This would suggest that the Milky Way emits not just light and radiation, but a kind of baseline plasma tone that exists across its entire structure. If Voyager 1 has tuned into this frequency, it might serve as a probe not just of one region, but of the galactic environment on a much broader scale. Detecting this fundamental note of the galaxy would be akin to finding the heartbeat of the cosmos, a baseline pulse of existence that echoes across the stars. Another tantalizing possibility is that this discovery could help locate boundaries and structures in space that have so far been theoretical. Astronomers have long speculated about regions of enhanced plasma density or magnetic turbulence between star systems. If the hum corresponds to one of these zones, then Voyager the 1st of May have crossed into or is skimming the edge of such a region. It's possible that this is a shockwave front or a ripple in space created by the passage of some massive body long ago, perhaps a stellar remnant or a black hole's gravitational wake spreading through the galactic medium like ripples in a pond. 
The mystery intensifies when considering the limitations of Voyager 1's instruments. After nearly five decades in space, the spacecraft is operating on only a fraction of its original systems, and yet it is still capable of producing groundbreaking observations. That speaks to the remarkable design of the probe, but it also underscores how little we truly know. If a half-century-old spacecraft with relatively primitive sensors can detect such an extraordinary phenomenon, what else might be out there waiting to be found with more advanced instruments? Even more provocative are the ideas coming from theorists now trying to understand the signal. Some are speculating whether this hum could represent a kind of natural communication, either between parts of the galaxy or from one region to another through plasma interactions. This is not to suggest intelligent design, but rather a mechanism by which information might propagate across interstellar distances without the need for light or particles in the traditional sense. In this scenario, the plasma medium acts as a kind of low-frequency carrier wave, moving energy or information through space much as sound moves through air. The existence of such a mechanism would fundamentally shift how scientists think about interstellar communication, energy transport, and perhaps even the structure of matter itself on galactic scales. It could help explain how distant regions of the galaxy stay in dynamic balance or how stellar environments evolve in tandem over vast expanses of time and space. Voyager 1, inadvertently, may have tapped into one of the galaxy's oldest and most persistent murmurs, an ancient whisper of the stars. For those exploring cosmology, this discovery opens a new frontier. The idea that interstellar space isn't empty but rather a vibrant matrix of faint energies forces a reevaluation of the cosmic void. It challenges the concept of empty space and replaces it with one of a living, breathing galactic ocean filled with barely perceptible movements. Voyager 1's detection of this hum might be the first step in mapping that ocean, not just in terms of stars and gas clouds, but in understanding the very framework through which those structures move and interact. The implications also extend into the realm of physics. Plasma is often considered the fourth state of matter, and it behaves in ways that defy simple categorization. The newly discovered signal could represent previously unknown plasma behavior, possibly influenced by exotic particles or dark matter. If dark matter interacts with the interstellar medium in subtle ways, this plasma hum might be its fingerprint. It could offer an indirect method for detecting and analyzing substances that remain otherwise invisible to our instruments. There's also the possibility that what Voyager 1 has encountered is not universal at all, but hyperlocal, some kind of transient event, the remnant of a unique interaction, or the edge of an unexplored region with completely different physical laws or conditions. If that's the case, then Voyager may have stumbled upon a space reef of sorts, a fixed region of turbulence and complexity, distinct from the calmer interstellar seas surrounding it. Such a discovery would open the possibility of distinct zones within the galaxy, not just spatially, but physically differentiated, like different climates or ecosystems on Earth. Despite the magnitude of the find, many mysteries remain. The exact frequency and structure of the plasma wave, its origin point, and its consistency over time are all still under study. The fact that Voyager 1 continues to send back data from over 150 astronomical units away is a testament not only to human ingenuity, but to the stubborn persistence of mystery in the universe. Even as one question is tentatively answered, a thousand more rise in its place, each one deeper and more profound than the last. It's worth reflecting on what this says about the role of legacy missions like Voyager 1. Designed in a pre-digital age, Launched with analog instruments and golden records, the spacecraft has now transcended its original purpose. It has become something more than a planetary probe. It is an interstellar explorer, a vanguard of Earth's presence in the galaxy. Its continued ability to surprise, to astound, and to push the boundaries of human knowledge reveals just how much the universe still holds back from easy comprehension. That such a profound signal comes from Voyager 1 rather than a modern satellite bristling with high-resolution sensors and deep space relays, is a poetic reminder that discovery is not just about technology. It's about persistence, about patience, and about the courage to send a tiny machine into the unknown and wait decades for it to reveal the secrets of the stars. Voyager's journey has never been one of speed, but of endurance. And this latest revelation proves that sometimes the slowest path is the most enlightening. 
there is a certain humility required when listening to the universe. Voyager 1 has taught humanity how to hear the deep silences of space and how to recognize the music hidden within them. The hum it now detects might be part of a larger symphony, a continuous composition that has been playing since the birth of the galaxy. And we are only now learning to hear its first notes. What comes next is uncertain. The data from Voyager will continue to be analyzed, its patterns scrutinized for clues. The hum may eventually be understood in terms of known physics, or it may open doors to wholly new concepts. But the mere fact that it exists, this whisper in the dark, transforms how humanity understands its place in the cosmos. No longer surrounded by silence, Earth now appears to be drifting through a space alive with subtle sound, resonating with an ancient pulse that spans the stars. As Voyager 1 pushes farther into interstellar space, it will carry with it not only instruments and antennas, but the legacy of this discovery. It will continue to drift, to listen, and perhaps to hear more of the unknown. And back on Earth, the echo of that strange, inexplicable hum will remain. A faint, haunting reminder that the universe is far richer, more complex, and more alive than anyone dared to imagine. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, leave your comments below and tell us, what are your thoughts on Voyager 1's discovery? What do you expect next? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.